story goes that on the morning of the race in 1979, Spectacular Bid stepped on a safety pin in his barn, which drove nearly an inch into his foot. Spectacular Bid's trainer discovered the wound, cleaned it, and got the horse ready for the Belmont, only to watch him finish a disappointing third. The 1980s saw three horses capture the first two legs while falling short in New York. Most memorably, there was Sunday Silence, the black colt that had a West Coast-East Coast rivalry with Easy Goer. Sunday Silence captured the Derby and then the Preakness. But at Belmont, Easy Goer finally got his win, and by eight lengths, going away. In the 90s, there were three more contenders. Real Quiet came the closest of any horse to breaking that drought, losing the 1998 Belmont to Victory Gallop by a nose at the finish. The next year, Charismatic, in the lead in the race's final eighth of a mile, began to fade when the late jockey Chris Antley realized something might be wrong, and then dramatically hopped off the horse and held his leg to prevent further harm. Sure enough, it was later discovered there was in fact a fracture, and Antley likely saved the horse's life. In 2004, immediately following failed bids by War Emblem and Funnyside, Smarty Jones blew past the competition in the Derby and the Preakness and in the process became one of the most popular racehorses to come along in years. But then, in the final stretch at Belmont, he was run down by Birdstone, a 36-1 to long shot, whose trainer, owner, and jockey all but apologized afterwards for winning and thus denying the people's choice what they had come to see. Most recently, there was Big Brown in 2008. The horse looked to have no equal on the track, but was trailed by controversy over trainer Rick Dutrow's admitted use of steroids on his horses. Then, after sustaining a cracked left hoof that was said to be repaired, Big Brown became the first Triple Crown hopeful to ever pull up in the Belmont and not finish, with jockey Kent DeSormo saying simply, I had no horse. And so that brings us to today, and I'll have another. A horse who is now the 12th since affirmed to fail to complete the elusive trifecta. And along with two thoroughbreds from the 1930s, the third all-time to win the Derby in Freakness and then not race at all in the Belmont. Yet one more way for a contender to come up short and thus extend the Triple Crown drought to 34 years and counting.